completely missed checking in from my In Touch project in the studio. Uh, we're making a body of large-scale touchable artwork made out of wool and felt. Um, to make the really large-scale pieces, instead of just building up wool on top of wool as I've done in the past, I'm actually working from the outside in. I'm making skins out of industrial felt, filling them, and then felting white wool over those uh, to give detail. So to start out going a lot larger, I'm creating small models in oil clay so it won't dry out. And then I'm carving maquettes, so smaller but you know, maybe a quarter to a fifth size models in uh, styrofoam uh, because it's really easy and quick to carve and then I'm laying industrial felt pieces over it and cutting it and shaping it so that the pieces will lie flat and then I know where to join two pieces together to create curves and I'm pinning them in place over the maquette so that I can figure out what two-dimensional pieces go together to create three-dimensional shape that I want. And then I'm going to scale up these uh, pattern pieces so that I can create the full scale size. And as you can see, I've made some different marks so that I can match the pieces up again. And I'm concentrating on making it so that the actual pieces of the pattern are all uh, flat. So I'm, I'm trying to cut and trim and shape the uh, edges of the industrial felt pattern pieces so they will lay flat together and I'm not twisting or warping the uh, felt itself because I want this to be true to the shape that I'm creating when I just stitch the edges together. And I've also made some guide marks for myself. Uh, I've numbered the different pieces because when I take this apart I do want to be able to put it back together again and uh, get the results I'm looking for. There may be some people who can just figure out just by looking what kind of flat shapes they would need to make different three-dimensional shapes, but I'm not at that point yet. I'm a big fan of learn by doing, so that is what I'm doing. I pay attention as I go, and I learn through action. So, I had a pretty good idea of what these pieces would look like but there's nothing quite like actually doing it to confirm your assumptions or totally, totally blow them out of the water. And this felt that I'm working with is just an uh, eighth inch thick. It's referred to uh, by the company that makes it as um, eco felt. It's recycled materials, some wool, mostly wool, but other materials as well. And because it's, it's felt, it's a non-woven textile, so there's no warp and weft to it. There's no directionality to it. It's just been tangled together and matted through the use of felting needles in a factory setting. So hundreds of felting needles would come down in a machine to basically chew and chomp and tangle the fibers together into an even flat sheet, which is what I do by hand when I sculpt. I use the tools of industry to do hand work. Okay, so here's my carved form. I carved it using hot wires and then I also sanded it to get the shape that I wanted. And then here are my pieces that I'm going to be joining together. And it's interesting, I see that they are curving off in a particular direction. So when I stitch this back together, I'll make sure it all fits, and then I'm going to scan the outlines and uh, probably redraw it in uh, in Adobe Illustrator, and then scan the, or scale them up and print them out large scale, and then I will cut out my three quarter or three eighths inch thick felt to create my actual full size piece. So there you have it.